Good morrow. It is six o'clock. Six forty-four in the morning, but I've been up since six because a cat won't let me sleep. And uh, you know, it's a beautiful day this morning. Sun's up. Everything's nice and green. We've had a lot of moisture this year in South Dakota. Um, things seem to be going pretty good. Our tourism is way up um, compared to the previous years, so it seems like an end to the dreaded recession, you know, is definitely happening. You know, the shopping malls are full. Uh, you know, the Walmarts are full. Wherever you go, there's a line. You have to wait everywhere. So people seem to be buying things. If that's any good news, I don't know. Seems like good news. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Vaping on a little Boba's Bounty, and we are going to talk about the Sigeli ZMAX V3 Telescoping Mod. And that is one long name. This video has been coming for a while. I've been using this just pretty much non-stop. Um, and it's been great, I have to say. Um, I'm sure, you know, I'm not going to go through a whole lot with this today. I got sleep in my eye, man. And the other thing is, I haven't had my coffee. I made the coffee. But I haven't, you know, poured the cup and all that yet. So I should probably cut this here, go get some coffee, and then continue this review. Mmm. Got some sweet coffee happening this morning. You ever notice that early in the morning? You can make way deeper sounds with your voice. And you can only do that when you first get up. And then you can't do it anymore. Sometimes I wish I had the vocal range of when I wake up. But then, there's a lot of things I wish that I can't have. Mmm. French vanilla creamer. I love black coffee. I love coffee with creamer. I'm a, you know, love coffee. Coffee's good. Alright, so let's talk about this. Let's get into this. Well, I've been loving this. Um, I definitely like it better than my beloved Vamo. I still use my Vamo a lot. The thing that I love about the Vamo is that I like the fact that on the Vamo you got your two, you know, power up, power down buttons right here that are just really easy and because I find myself um, even when using wattage, the wattage is pretty dependable um, on each and every device um, that I screw on the end of it, you know, the, with keeping your same, hmm, 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 it's pretty good, you know, hmm, hmm. Um, I find that I still, a lot of times, I'm moving up or down or a notch or a half a notch. Um, like, it's just not, you know, every, not all devices are created equal. Just because you set it at, sometimes I'm at 11 watts on one device, and, and then here on the Vivi Nova, which I've been vaping on a lot lately, um, probably more than anything, the, va the Vivi Nova and the King or T2, because especially in the summertime, I am always on the go. When I'm at home, I've been vaping on my Igo L a lot, uh, because when I'm at home, man, I'm just, ah, chilling on the couch, and I'm, watching TV and and it's no problem to just drip and the Igo L what I love about also is it's so easy to just change out flavors you just run a little hot water give it a couple dry burns you're good to go it's that simple mm. see I find myself that uh, last Vivianova I, I'm finding myself I gotta power this one up a little bit it's golden 9.5 I don't know mm hmm and that definitely does it for this one. <coughs> and uh, so that's why I like the Vamo, you know, is that you can power up, power down, and uh, really easily. And I was scared with when I first got this, though I've used devices like this uh, before, 
I l found myself leaning towards the Vamo because it was just so convenient to go up down anytime I wanted. But I made myself try this, and believe it or not, don't be intimidated by this because I find myself, and you will too, where you're just flying through this menu system. Everything is three click. Everything is three click. One, two, three. And there you are. This screen is so easy to see. You can see it anywhere. Outside in the brightest sun shining directly down on it, you can see this, no problem. So if I want to go down, one, two, three. Um, it's not focusing, Captain. Power up. Let's see if I can. It's so hard to do this stuff. Um, there it is, out. First thing, on. If I click it, it's off. I want to turn it back on. One, two, three. Wait. Click it. On. Great. Let it lock. One, two, three. I want to go up again on my power. Power up. I wait. Click it. It's up. Click it. Up more. Click it. Up more. Let it lock. Done. Power down. The third one. I wait. Click it. Down. Click it. Down. Click it. Down. Let it lock. Wait. Three clicks. Battery voltage. What am I at these days, Captain? 4.1 volts you are, sir. Thank you. LCD display. What do I want my LCD display to display when I hit the button? Well, I want it to display resistance. Sounds good. I just clicked it once, set it to resistance. I let it lock. But I press the button And there's nothing happening. Well, let's turn it on. One, two, three. Um, come on now, focus. Okay, there's the on, off. I turn, just turned it back on. I'm letting that lock. My arms are getting tired of holding this thing up. Okay, and now it's going to be upside down. Yeah, so that ain't going to work. One, two, three. And so basically, if you wait too long after the third click, it's going to be stuck in there. Click, click, battery voltage. I've got that set to resistance. LCD on or off, it's set to off. Wait, click it on. Now it's on. Now, at this point, we press the button. This is a 2.9 ohm device. Now it's 3. But I'm going to go ahead and just click through this. And I personally most of the time unless I've got a rebuildable on here that I always want to see what my resistance is at I'm going to click that off because I don't want that thing on and using battery life this thing seems to go through a battery a little bit faster than the Vamo but it also seems more accurate power or voltage I have got it set to power which is wattage and I think that's it one two three clicks power off power on I waited too long on that you really got to kind of be fast on the first menu on, up, down, battery voltage, LCD display, LCD on off, power or voltage, RMS or mean. You want RMS for a more accurate thing. And it's as simple as that. And it seems tough at first, but you saw how fast I was flying through that. And, uh, you know, a lot of times I will overshoot it. So I'm like, oh, I want to power it down. Oops, I went over it. Okay, no big deal. Just keep going. Power down again. Wait. Click it. There you are. Let it lock. Done. <coughs> and uh, this thing seems to be more accurate than the VAMO as far as what you set it to is what you get. The VAMO is pretty accurate. This one seems to be just a touch more accurate, but more importantly to me, what I am liking better about this is it will maintain it longer. Now see, i got to come up on that wattage. Okay, one, two, three. Power up, wait for it, and boom, I'm there. Not too bad, and you will find yourself flying through this just as fast. I mean, within 10 minutes, I was flying through these menus. I already had it. Um, I love the Segeli ZMAX telescoping mod uh, just because I haven't gone over this. I tend to, you, you can take this end cap off and change the battery out like that. 
But I'll tell you what I have found myself doing lately, <clears throat> or most of the time, I take the whole telescoping part off. You know, so you can stack a couple of 350 batteries in here if you want. You can, you know, use about any battery. You can use one 18350 where it's nice and short, but I tend to use just the uh, 18650s. And like I say, so that's the whole thing. Pop the battery out, put the new battery in, put it in, and you've got a little spring action. Not, not a lot though because it's fully telescoped out. And I find that to be about the easiest. And I just screw that on, just whatever, to where it's not getting a lot of shaky, mad, rattly music. Three, four to five clicks. You never know. It's different every time. The Segeli system is on. I think I just spit as I said that. That was awesome. The button, I didn't care for at first. I know I said I, that this was all I had, but I'm so unorganized and I have ADHD. There's no question, as, a, as one of my commenters said. And uh, um, the button is a wobbly, but I had a Vamo that was wobbly. I had a Vamo that wasn't wobbly, and it also turns. You can spin that button. That button is staying in place the whole time, and I thought, I've had a Vamo that do, does that, and I've had a Vamo that doesn't do that. It's no problem. Actually, I kind of dig it now. It's kind of nice. And uh, But the button's been very reliable. Um, even though it's got a little bit of wobble to it, it's not bad. It's not terrible, terrible. I think they... You know, I think about it now, and I think they did that on purpose, just because you're always fiddling with the button, and if it's got a little bit of play in it, the chances are it's probably going to last longer, even though initially you might think, oh, God, that's cheesy, that button's going to go out. It's kind of a plastic button. I would prefer metal, but it works. And this has been my only mod that I have been vaping on for seriously, like the last month. And I've had zero issues. The thing performs fantastic. Um, a lot of people have started using this and they say this is their favorite. This is their go-to everything. It's better quality. It's lighter than the Vamo. It's uh, shorter, a little thinner than the Vamo. Uh, it's easier in your pocket than the Vamo. Um, stuff like that. But you're going to pay a little more for it than the Vamo too. I think I paid something like 89 bucks for this. And, uh, and that was just the tube. That gives you the tube, but you can, you know, get on the website, and you can. Most of the places have where you can add a battery, and I did add a battery, <clears throat> but because uh, I figure it's hard to have too many batteries, I don't know. Um, and that's it, man. Um, you know, you can add chargers and all that, but uh, you know, a lot of you, you, you like me and, and others, you probably have batteries and chargers. You don't need all that, so you just grab the tube. And I think it was 89 or something. I'll find a link and I'll try to get the cheapest one and I'll put it down below. And that'll be that. And you know, at this point, I think I would like to show you um, what I do when I go to work. How do I vape? Because I have to get on a train. I'm gone for 36 hours. I ride a train. Actually, I run the train up to another state, another town. I stay in a hotel room. Uh, sometimes I'm there for 16 hours and then I come home on the train and so I'd like to show you kind of how I travel and vape and to have my flavors and what it takes you know for me to have a nice comfortable vape with no worries on having everything I need when I'm gone and and on the go so yeah so here's what I have it's a Johnson and Johnson uh, snapping case and it's just got this little uh, you know where you just pull that up and here's what you got um, I have a, a couple tanks the Kinger T2's that are wrapped in paper towels because one of them decides to just leak ever so slightly once in a while as you can see they're pretty dry so it's not like it's terrible but I the Vivinovas are all pretty well you know, completely dry. The SVD Nova can leak occasionally. The old standard Novas, like this, I've got a, two of those in here. What do I have here? Uh, this is some old Copper Creek House blend. And this is also what I take to work. Um, my battery charger, I've always got a couple in there. And, uh, you know, just, uh, I've been using this battery by far the most, the good old IMR18650, 2250 milliamp hour ones, and uh, 
I've actually got a 2,000 milliamp hour one in it right now, along with my case, which I've got my different tanks in. And that's why I go for these. Let me unwrap them just so you can believe me. I do have a spare Nova head that I keep in here as well. Spare drip tip. I've got a slap your mama punch uh, cardo tool for some reason because I don't have a single cardo in here. I don't know why. Lately I've just been going with these clear misers because they're just so convenient. A couple of kangers with the silver tip um, with some great flavors in there as well. Um, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six tanks. Three Novas, a couple of Kanger T2s all with a different flavor that I can just switch out and, and they're just so convenient to just quickly fill up and done because everything is always as simple as with these clear misers or is pulling off the top filling it back up topping it off every once in a while I'll clean them out with water and some dry burns dry it with paper towels and fill it and I'm good to go and uh, just really been you know digging that and it, the convenience factor where I think you know, cardo tanks are definitely convenient, um, but I like to give things a little blow once in a while just to make sure, okay, have they flooded by sitting on their side a lot, you know, these clear misers have a tendency to do that, and that's the thing about cardo misers is most of the time they don't. That's what I love about cardos. What do we have here? Some triple five, and I got to power that down. Let's try 8 watts. You know, not all devices are created equal. 9 volts was really, or 9 volts, my god. 9 watts on the uh, Vivianova was great. I got this down to 8 watts. And, uh, I mean, come on. This is 70% PG, 30% VG, and look at the vapor. Those Kanger T2s are awesome. 8 watts. Pretty low wattage setting. Sometimes I'm down to 7, 7.5. I'm getting a warm, a nice warm vape, plenty of vapor, which is, results in a lot more battery time because I'm able to vape at those lower watts. And I've found myself just being satisfied, really. I'm just being satisfied. And I find myself lately, I, I just watched uh, Phil Basardo's video a while back, I guess. I just watched it a while back. That makes a lot of sense. Anyway. He was talking about um, how va vaping has changed. There are some countries, the Philippines, I think, uh, is what he said, where, you know, they're just, everybody, it's become such a sport uh, where you have these vaping enthusiasts that are sports, like it's, like it's a sport, and they're trying to get more vape, and they're always fiddling with this, fiddling with that. And he said he went outside one day, and I've had this realization too where I'm watching people smoke real cigarettes as I'm sitting here with this and as they're smoking their real cigarettes um, barely any smoke comes out you know especially outside which is where they should be smoking anyway <clears throat> even when I was a smoker I smoked outside you know I didn't smoke in my house and versus this has way more. And like he said, when I was smoking the real thing, I didn't care how much smoke came out. That was something I never thought about. I just smoked because I enjoyed it. And uh, we've, some people, myself included there for a while when I was getting into the rebuildables and stuff, even though I'm still into the rebuildables, I've remembered now that you know, this is a terrific thing. I don't have to fiddle with this. Be happy with what you got. This is great enjoy it. Don't make it a pain in the butt by always wanting more because, well, this person made a great performing, uh, you know, RBA, you know, and uh, I want it, mine, mine to be that way. And then you're stressing over building the perfect coil and what's the best way and what kind of wicking material, what's better, silica, what's better, the uh, uh, stainless steel mesh, you know, where it's like, you know what, screw that. I'm going to get some Vivianovas and some Cardos and some things that work for me that are very convenient and I'm gonna vape and uh, it's made my vaping just so much more hassle free and uh, I've just really been enjoying vaping like it's the first time again and 
I think it's important. Don't forget that. That you know, don't overcomplicate it. You know, if you find something that works, just stick to it. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars a month trying to get more vapor when you've got plenty of vapor. You know, uh, the flavors, the technology we have now, it's it's fantastic. We can get anything. You know, to to taste great, to warm vape, cold vape, whatever you like, with plenty of vapor for very cheap and uh, just you know buying some heads every month if you want to or you can rebuild the heads. The Vivinovas are really easy to rebuild. Um, but I find myself just for the convenience I always have a pack of heads on hand that I can just pop the old one out, put a new one in and uh, you know I find myself I, I generally with the new heads lately I run some hot water over them, give them a few dry burns, maybe do it again, a few dry burns just to get that machine oil taste off of it. But that machine oil taste will wear off. Um, here's a, the knockoff Boba's Bounty version, which is actually really good. This is the actual real Boba's Bounty that I have on here. So if you ever, you know, find yourself curious so you can't get regular Boba's Bounty and uh, you maybe want to try this knockoff version that you've been kind of scared to, it's not Boba's Bounty, you know. You, you don't want to buy it thinking, I hope this tastes exactly like Boba's Bounty, because you will be disappointed. But, uh, when I got it, I thought I was purchasing, purchasing the real thing, and, because they actually, the knockoff guy, you know, I forget his name, he's on the forum, some people don't like him, I mean, some people really, really do not like the guy who owns this knockoff Boba's Bounty. It's done by, uh, like, he even changed his website. I can understand why people don't like this guy, because he's basically using the real uh, the real Boba's Bounty and their website name to make money. I mean, he calls his stuff Boba's Bounty. He calls his stuff Gorilla Juice. But he didn't make the original Boba's Bounty or Gorilla Juice. And his website is even AlienVisionsSomething.com. So I went on there thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to get some Boba's Bounty. How about that? I was able to get into the site. And then the, I ordered up a hundred and 20 milligram bottle and I get it. it the bottle looks completely different it's com really really dark and I'm like what did they do change their formula and I take a vape and it's like okay that's good but that ain't Boba's Bounty so then I realized after checking that yeah I've gotten the knockoff version so you have to be careful you want to go to AVG not Alien Visions it's AVG Juice and uh, dot com versus Alien Visions e -juice .com. so you can see why people might think of him as a crook because he is basically kinda using the original Boba's Bounty but however this flavor is very good uh, and it became a part of my regular vape Love a friend of mine got some of the knockoff too and it became his favorite flavor his favorite vape so give it a try it's I th it, it's pretty affordable how can I describe the flavor to you it's definitely smoky you know it reminds me it's perhaps got a little chocolate to it but you don't taste a lot of chocolate you know you're not going to take your first vape and be like oh chocolate definitely you know it's not like that. It's not like you're getting a chocolate flavor. But there's a hint or a subtleness of something that reminds me of chocolate maybe. But it's definitely a smoky, I don't know. It's got a sweetness. Maybe it's not chocolate. I don't know quite how to describe it. But it's kind of like Boba's Bounty. You don't really know you know, the, the original. It's, you don't really know quite how to describe that, just like the Copper Creek House blend. You don't really know quite how to describe that either. But it's it's definitely like a smoky flavor. Definitely reminds you of like a tobacco, but more maybe along the cigar line, crossed with maybe pipe tobacco, some good sweet pipe tobacco, with something else. It's good though. Um, you know, buy a small bottle and give it a shot, see what you think. Whether he's a crook or not, I mean, if he puts out something that I enjoy and I do enjoy this, well, I'm happy, you know. And now I am seriously done. This, I don't know how I always manage to ramble about 
a lot of useless information in my videos and because I'm just hanging out with you guys you know I'm, it's it's always been a while since I've recorded a video so I'm kind of telling you what I've been up to and I'm wondering what you guys have been up to and uh, I, I, I think about you guys a lot middle of the night morning blah 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 I'm riding the train running the train and stuff and I'm thinking about vaping and I'm thinking about you guys and uh, hoping you're not upset because it's been too long since I put out a video and I get a lot of messages, you know, uh, you need to put out more videos. I'm like, I know, man. <sighs> it's just tough, man. And then the summertime, it's just, it brings on, I got to mow the lawn today. I got, I had to tear out drywall in my, uh, in my basement uh, last night so I can fix a plumbing issue. And I'm not a plumber. Ugh. But uh, I had an AC repair guy over here yesterday. It's just, ugh. Oh. You know, you're fixing all your stuff, and there's just always something to do. So, But I like it, too, man. I love the warm weather. I love everything about it, pretty much. And I just love vaping in the morning. When I first get up like this, I got my coffee. You guys remember what it was like with cigarettes. That cup of coffee with a cigarette in the morning. And this is even better. because a cigarette could never taste this good, even with this knockoff Boba's Bound. And that's all I got, guys. Um, went a little longer than I thought it was going to go. But hey, let's have a sip of coffee. Mm -mm -mm. So, on that note, let's have a vape. Everyone, have a great 4th of July celebrating America's independence. And uh, I love you, and I've missed you, and I will see you again. Let's have a vape. Mm. All right, guys, that's all I got. Again, thank you for watching. Have a great day today. Enjoy your summertime. I hope you have a great summer. And 4th of July, here we are, July 2nd, uh, celebrating our country, America's independence. Uh, some countries may not like that or care, but hey, it's cool over here because we get to shoot off fireworks, and I love fireworks. So have a great 4th of July. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again. Bye-bye.